If you have a small business and you're dealing with a lot of things at the same time, you could try to use software to make the administration part easier so you can focus on the work itself. So today I'm gonna go over five apps that will help you admin your business and centralize the data so you can spend more time working on the product and also having the data in the same place will help you make decisions in the future. The list of apps in this video are apps that can be used by any business and are not only for specific business models. For example, if you sell online products, you can use Shopify or Magento and those platforms will do a lot for you but they are limited to online sales. If you have a construction company or you're a lawyer, you won't be using an online store. Also, we're not going to include any accounting software like QuickBooks, Xero, or Zoho Books. I'm assuming if you have a business, you're already using one of those apps to track income and expenses. All right, let's get started. The number one app that you should be using is a CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management and it's going to be the core of your business. It is going to be the central place for your leads, contacts, accounts, and deal, and you will be able to do a lot of administrative tasks as well as keep all communications in the same place. Most CRMs are very customizable, so it fits your sales process. You should be able to edit the sales pipeline, the layouts, and add custom fields on pretty much any CRM. Also, you can probably set up automations like sending email notifications to your clients, as well as text messages, creating tasks and assigning them to the users and more. And same thing with customizations. Advanced CRMs can be more customizable. A few examples of CRMs are Zoho CRM, HubSpot CRM, Pipedrive, and Salesforce. I have reviewed all these apps, so I will link them in the description down below. The second most important app is actually a group of apps. I'm talking about an office suite like Google Workspaces or Office 365. If you're currently running your business with a personal email account and calendar, I recommend you to switching to the office suite. Your company email will look more professional and you can centralize everything business related there. In the office suite, we have three most important apps, email, calendar, and cloud storage. We all know how important it is to have a good email client like Gmail or Outlook, but something almost as important as an email is the calendar. It is essential to keep you organized and on the same page with your team. Most CRMs allow you to sync your calendar with the CRM. A file management system is important to keep all your files in one place. Some examples are Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, Dropbox, and Zoho Work Drive. Also, another important app on an office suite would be a meeting app like Zoom or Google Meet, a form app like Typeform, Google Form, or Zoho Forms, and apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The third most important app you should be using is an automation app, also called Connectors. These apps will help you connect different software together so they can transfer data between each other. Once you have the workflow set up, it will save you a lot of time because you won't need to do those tasks anymore. Typically, these connectors work with hundreds of apps and you will be able to see a list of triggers and actions that they can perform. For example, you can set up the trigger when a contact is updated in the CRM and the action could be send an email from your Gmail account to your manager about the update made on the contact. Some examples of connectors are Zapier, Integromat, Automate.io and Zoho Flow. I have made several tutorials for these apps so I will link them in the description below. A project manager is the fourth most important app for a small business. If you want to track the progress you're making on the projects you're working on, the best way to do it is with a project manager app. Here you can create projects and add tasks so you don't forget to do anything that the client asks for. Most project managers are customizable so you can edit different sections of the app to fit your production process. For example, you should be able to create templates, edit the layouts and add fields. Some project managers allow you to track time directly from each task, and if there is a project budget, you will be able to see reports about it. Also, some project managers let you set up automations to modify tasks or projects based on specific actions, as well as trigger notifications. Like if a task is marked as high priority, then assign it to a specific user. If you have a team, a project manager is a must because you can track and delegate tasks for the entire team in one place. Some examples of popular project managers are Asana, ClickUp, and Zoho Projects. 
The fifth most important app that any small business should be using is a phone system app that can handle phone calls and text messages, but it is important that it has a web app as well as apps for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, so you can make phone calls from your computer or phone. This way you can keep all phone calls and text messages related to work in one place. There are a lot of options out there and the cost is similar to what a normal line would cost. But having a voice over IP system has a lot of advantages, like setting up an auto receptionist that will answer for you and direct calls to the right employee, or you can also get different phone numbers that they will all ring on the same phone. For example, if you serve different area codes, you can get one phone number per area code, so it matches, but all the calls to all the numbers will ring in one place. Also, some of the systems integrate very well with some CRMs, so the calls are logged into the CRM automatically. Maybe this is something to consider if you're not using a voice over IP system yet. Some examples are Ring Central, Nextiva, Grasshopper, and Google Voice. All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I am a software consultant, so if you're looking for new software for your business and you need some help, please contact me using my website. I will link it in the description. I have a question for you. What apps on the list are you already using and what apps you are considering to start using? Also, let me know down below. The last thing I want to mention is that I have reviewed a few of the apps, so you can check out the links in the description if you want to see a full review. Thanks for watching.